place where we can be free. Find Jericho. Find Jericho. I'm an AK-700 android. I was designed to serve you. What can I do for you? My program has detected an anomaly. Please contact me here if I'd like to make an example.
Hello, Amanda. Connor, it's good to see you. Your predecessor was unfortunately destroyed. It knew deviance could be unpredictable, but it wasn't careful enough. I hope you won't make the same mistake. I don't intend to. When a Connor model is destroyed, its memory is transferred to the next one. But some data can be lost in the process. Avoid being destroyed. It will be better for you and the investigation. I understand. The interrogation seemed challenging. What did you think of the Deviant? It showed signs of PTSD after being abused by its owner. As if its original program had been completely replaced by new instructions. This Lieutenant Anderson has been officially assigned to the Deviancy case. What do you make of him? I find him unpleasant and unprofessional. He seems to have an addictive personality, has a lack of respect for procedure, and despises androids, which makes our relationship difficult. Unfortunately, we have no choice but to work with him. What do you think is the best approach? I will adapt to his personality. It is in the best interest of the investigation that I avoid conflict and try to accommodate his psychology. More and more androids show signs of deviancy. There are millions in circulation. If they become unstable, the consequences will be disastrous. You're the most advanced prototype Cyberlife has ever created. If anyone can figure out what's happening, it's you. You can count on me, Amanda. Pick up the investigation where the previous Connor left off and put a stop to this. Hurry, Connor. There's little time. Can I help you? I'm here to see Lieutenant Anderson. Do you have authorization? Yes. Lieutenant Anderson hasn't arrived yet, but you can wait at his desk. It might be in shock. Oh, shit. Tensions in the Arctic... The machine can kill everyone in the room. A Russian carrier and an American patrol boat reported to have... Hey, I'll take a look at these samples yet. The lab report says they cut it with something. Maybe they're trying out a new form of red eye. Excuse me. Do you know what time Lieutenant Anderson usually arrives? Depends on where he was the night before. If we're lucky, we'll see him before noon. Thanks. Call Hank Anderson. Hi, this is Hank. Not here at the moment. You can leave a message if that's what turns you on, but don't expect me to call back. Beep. Whatever. Lieutenant Anderson, 
This is Connor. I'm the android sent by CyberLife. It's almost noon, and I'm waiting for you at the office. Hello, Lieutenant. My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by CyberLife. God, I saw you get shot in the head last night. My predecessor was unfortunately destroyed. But CyberLife transferred its memory and sent me to replace it. This incident should not affect the investigation. Oh, Jesus. Hank! In my office! I've got 10 new cases involving androids on my desk every day. We've always had isolated incidents. Old ladies losing their android maids and that kind of crap. But now, we're getting reports of assaults and even homicide, like that guy last night. This isn't just CyberLife's problem anymore. It's now a criminal investigation, and we've got to deal with it before the shit hits the fan. I want you to investigate these cases and see if there's any link. Why me? Why do I gotta be the one to deal with this shit? I am the least qualified cop in the country to handle this case. I know jack shit about androids, Jeffrey. I can barely change the settings on my own phone. Everybody's overloaded. I think you're perfectly qualified for this type of investigation. Bullshit! The truth is, nobody wants to investigate these fucking androids, and you left me holding the bag. CyberLife sent over this android to help with the investigation. It's a state-of-the-art prototype. It'll act as your partner. No fucking way! I don't need a partner, and certainly not this plastic prick! Hank, you are seriously starting to piss me off! You are a police lieutenant! You are supposed to do what I say, and shut your goddamn mouth! You know what my goddamn mouth has to say to you? Okay, huh? okay. I'll pretend like I didn't hear that, so I don't have to add any more pages to your disciplinary folder, cause it already looks like a fucking novel! This conversation is over! Jeffrey, Jesus Christ, why are you doing this to me? You know how much I hate these fucking things. Why are you doing this to me? Listen, I've had just about enough of your bitch. Either you do your job or you hand in your badge. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got work to do. Ugh. I'm very pleased to have joined the team. I can assure you I'll do my very Close best. Close the door on your way out. Have a nice day, Captain.
I understand the destruction of my predecessor may have been unpleasant for you, Lieutenant. I'll do everything I can to make it doesn't happen again. In any case, I'd like you to know I'm very happy to be working with you. I'm sure we'll make a great team. Now that we're partners, it would be great to get to know each other better. Is there a desk anywhere I could use? No one's using that one. Hey. Take a look at these samples yet? Lab report says they cut it with something. You have a dog, right? How do you know that? The dog hair's on your chair. I like dogs. What's your dog's name? What's it to you? Sumo. I call him Sumo. You're a Detroit Gears fan, right? Denton Carter scored 53% of his shots from the three-point line yesterday. Did you see the game? That's what I was watching at the bar last night. Oh. Do you listen to Knights of the Black Death? I really like that music. It's full of energy. You listen to heavy metal? Well... I don't really listen to music as such, but I'd like to. A lot of people don't appreciate having androids around. I was wondering, is there any reason in particular you despise me? Yeah, there is one. Have you known Captain Fowler for long? Yeah, too long. I was wondering, do you always arrive at the office at this time? I arrive when I arrive. Stop busting my balls, okay? If you have any files on Deviants, I'd like to take a look at them. Terminals on your desk. Knock yourself out. Two hundred and forty three files. First dates back nine months. It all started in Detroit, and quickly spread across the country. An AX-400 is reported to have murdered a man last night. That could be a good starting point for our investigation. I know you didn't ask for this investigation, Lieutenant, but I'm sure you're a professional. Why don't you go fuck yourself? Hey, take a look at these samples yet? Lab report says they cut it. I've been assigned this mission, Lieutenant. I didn't come here to wait until you feel like working. Listen, asshole. If it was up to me, I'd throw the lot of you in a dumpster and set a match to it. So stop pissing me off. But things are gonna get nasty. Uh, Lieutenant? I'm sorry to disturb you. I have some information on the AX-400 that killed the guy last night. 
It's been sighted in the Ravendale district. I'm on it.
That's all for now. Ready to go. You've got officers sweeping the neighborhood in case anybody saw anything. Okay, well, let me know if they turn anything up. What are you going to do with that? I have no idea. So what do we got here? Bus driver saw it at 2.30. Seen at a convenience store. So what's your conclusion, Sherlock? to make up for past misunderstandings. <laughs> Ralph will cook. We will do just like humans do. Humans like burnt meat. <laughs> come. Come and sit down. <laughs> That's very kind of you, Ralph. But we have to go. Go? <laughs> no, you will go once the little girl is eaten. We will eat together, just like a family. You know, the father, the mother, and the little girl. <laughs> no, Ralph. We're leaving now. Come on, Alice. The little girl's going nowhere. Humans don't eat that, Ralph. <laughs> You're not going to hurt her, are you? We're friends. Remember? No, Ralph doesn't want to hurt the little girl. He just wants her to eat. That's all. Okay. We'll eat together. Like a family. <laughs> That's better. Ralph went to a lot of trouble to find something for the little girl to eat. It wouldn't be polite for her to refuse, would it? You'll see, succulent, succulent. <laughs> Father, mother, little girl. Please, Carl. I don't want to eat that. What did she say? She said she doesn't want to eat it. Well, maybe it's not good enough. Maybe she's used to better things. But Ralph did this for her, so she's going to eat! Go ahead. Eat. I saw the body upstairs. You killed that human, didn't you? No. No, he was like that when Ralph found him. You killed that man, Ralph. There's no point in lying. You hate humans, but you're just like them. You're a murderer. Ralph didn't mean any harm. Just that... Ralph can't control his anger. 
when his anger comes. Raph doesn't know what he's doing. He, he becomes stupid. Full of hatred. Raph is sorry. He just wanted to be your friend. Then let us go. Anybody home? Looking for an AX-400. Have you seen it? Ralph's seen nobody. Are there any other androids here? Other androids? No. Ralph is alone. There's blue blood on the fence. I know another android was here. Ralph scratched himself coming through. That's Ralph's blood. Don't be afraid. I'm not gonna hurt you. Is anyone upstairs? No. Nobody. Connor, what the hell are you doing in there? Lieutenant! station.
Fuck. That's insane. Get yourself killed! Do not go after him, Connor! That's an order! 